Hello and welcome to Daily Records. I'm Tommy Burton. And today's record is going to be uh, this album by an artist, Keith Green, So You Want to Go Back to Egypt. Now this album is a contemporary Christian album. It was released on May 7th, 1980. And for those of you that are unfamiliar with Keith Green, Keith Green was a piano player. He was a child prodigy. He was signed to Decca Records when he was like 11 years old. And he was going to be the next big teen sensation. Well, he kind of fell out of that. That didn't happen. And then he became a reborn, uh, born-again Christian. And he delved into early uh, what the, the was commonly called Jesus music, uh, which is basically all the hippies that uh, were singing about Jesus back during the 70s. There were several artists like Larry Norman, Randy Stonehill, Phil Kagey. Well, Keith Green is one of those guys. And if you guys are fans of Phil Kagey and know uh, about his music, he has a song called... Um, uh, the song is like waking up from the longest dream, how real it seems. Uh, that was a Keith Green song. Um, uh, and so, or that was written, co-written with Keith Green. I think Randy Stonehill was involved in the writing of that song. Well, this is an album that came out in 1980. This was his third, uh, album, uh, to be released, his third solo album. It was listed by Contemporary Christian Music Magazine as one of the greatest 100, uh, greatest albums in Christian music. But uh, it featured several guys on here, uh, Matthew Ward and Kelly Willard, who you guys probably know if you if you know anything about uh, Christian music. But also this uh, guy playing harmonica, Bob Dylan, uh, plays on this album. And the thing about Keith Green that, that was a big deal, um, Keith wrote lyrics that were really challenging to, to Christians and people of faith. He wrote uh, lyrics that were uh, very uncompromising. He, he was very fervent in his, in his beliefs. And he stepped on a lot of people's toes. And this album is no exception. I, I would say Keith Green was probably uh, Christian music's uh, Elton John. Uh, maybe it's the piano playing. He's got a beautiful voice. But like I said, his lyrics were very uncompromising. And he made no secret about what his beliefs were. Now, the interesting thing about this album, when it was released, it came out uh, on Keith's label, uh, Pretty Good Records. This is, uh, there you see the Pretty Good Records logo on there, and uh, PGR. And uh, the album featured, uh, it was a free album, it was not to be for sale. Uh, and so, it, it really was a big uh, marketing move, because he wouldn't allow people to charge money for for the albums, and so he negotiated this uh, release from a contract he had with Sparrow Records, and uh, he initiated this policy of refusing to charge money for concerts or albums. Um, so he mortgaged his home, he and his wife Melody, uh, to finance the album, and it was offered through mail order and at concerts for whatever price people wanted to pay. So a lot of people think Radiohead were the, was the first band to really uh, pioneer that, to, hey, download this album and pay what you like. With Keith Green was doing it in, in 1980. And uh, his quote is, the whole reason for not charging a set price for the album is simple. We want everyone, no matter how much they have, even if it's nothing, to be able to hear the ministry of new life in Jesus that springs forth from this powerfully anointed album. And so um, it, it was kind of an extension of his ministry, Last Days Ministries, um, and so he had a heart for poor people, and so he he felt like you know let's let's you know give this album away basically, and so uh, and again I mentioned uh, Bob Dylan being a good friend. Uh, he played on this album. This was during Dylan's Christian period, but um, you know as an album, it's it's really good. It's powerful uh, gospel music. So if you're interested in contemporary Christian music or or Jesus music and that sort of period. Um, this is a this is a fantastic album to look into. Uh, check out my other channel. Uh, that's my regular VC channel where I talk about other stuff. Uh, comment down below, like, share, subscribe. Thanks to everyone that's been watching the videos and subscribing. I really do appreciate it uh, and interacting with you all. And uh, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. It's Tommy Burton seven seven five. And uh, that's all for Daily Records today.